and yesterday at work, Jake, friend of the channel, managed to get some caustic soda on his, on his legs and uh, a tiny bit on his face. I'm encouraging him to go to the hospital. Could you also do that in the comments? Uh, we don't want him to lose his leg, obviously. Again, again, this is one of those weird kind of true intros, which is a, a bit bizarre for me. Right, today you asked me, or some people asked me, possibly not you, but hopefully if you did ask, you might be watching this, to kind of go through some of my favorite um, effects uh, on the Kemper. So, first things first, I don't really use the Kemper drive modules much at all. Um, I prefer to use the gain on the actual uh, amp model. If I just push that up, to me that responds better than putting like the tube screamers or rats or fuzzers in front of it. I'm just not a big fan of Kemper drives as they are at the moment. I think there might be an update coming on that, so that might be interesting. Yeah. Hopefully this will be uh, useful and you know if you're into Kemper stuff I'm doing more of it on my channel now. If you want to like and subscribe hopefully there'll be more useful stuff. But mostly we'll be talking about my favourite delays and reverbs. Um, so we'll start off, this is a profile of my Mesa Boogie Electrodyne that I made. This is one of the earlier profiles that I made but it came out really nice for clean tones. And here is my favourite reverb. <laughs> kind of my go-to reverb setting or one that I really like so I put that in my folder as well the Kemper folder which you'll find in the description with all my other profiles and stuff all of these presets you'll be able to load on if you don't want to kind of punch them in and yeah so I'll just now add on some delay to this tone my favorite delay so one of my favorite delays comes from the single delay module and <laughs> Um, my favorite kind of delay setting that's in the folder is JC delay but one of my other favorite delays is a uh, preset bison delay um, if you load that and then kind of turn the mix down it's mixed quite high uh, too high for my preferences anyway but um, yeah, the bison delay just notched that um, mix wise down to about 35, 40%. That works really nicely. When Kemper uh, spruced up their delays and reverbs, one of the things they added were these kind of crystal delays. Um, and one of the presets that I really like in there is called Crystal Church. Um, and this is kind of a, a take on that. I think I've modified the preset slightly and this will be in the folder as JC Church, but a really nice ambient.
kind of really classy Strymon-esque kind of delay sounds um, with that I guess that's kind of shimmer <laughs> that I'd use on all the time but when you're doing some kind of ambient chord stuff or maybe worshipy stuff I think that's a really cool sound I think that's the dual crystal delay is what that's based off of but the preset is crystal church if you're already on your Kemper or my take on it is called JC church in my folder I'm also running my kind of favorite compressor settings right now those are in the folder as JC comp but yeah compression is not one of those things that I'd necessarily use all the time but for this kind of stuff it kind of helps to add a bit of sparkle and stuff and another kind of thing that Kemper added when they um, spruced up the reverbs is this cirrus reverb one of the presets called breath i really like so i modify that i take the um attack time way down and the delay time i think it is or is it decay one of those two way down and you end up with something up with something that sounds JC effects or something like that um, and in that folder also you'll find all of the profiles that I'm making and I'm going to make um, but yeah hopefully that's uh, vaguely interesting and sheds a little bit of light on that question that you asked 
Um, thank you for stopping by. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, there's plenty more of this sort of stuff on the channel. So if you want to like and subscribe, that'd be cool. There's also a buy me a coffee link just in case you really enjoyed it enough to buy me a coffee. Um, but only do that if you can afford to. And um, I'll catch you for another video soon. Cheers.